Santine. Methyl Santine are a unique class of drugs that are derived from the purine based Santine. This Santine is produced naturally by both plants and animals. It has a smooth muscle relaxant property which is responsible for the bronchodilator effects of Santines. Methyl Santine blocks the phosphodiesterase enzyme which results in relaxation of smooth muscle in the lungs, dilation of pulmonary blood vessels, elimination of excess fluid through diuresis, and stimulation of the central nervous system. Methyl Santines include the following, caffeine, theobromine drugs, and theophylline drugs. These three alkaloids are natural and synthetic compounds in tea, which could be metabolized by certain kinds of bacteria and fungi. Caffeine is an alkaloid which are common in nuts. Caffeine is commonly used for mental alertness, headache, migraine, and asthma. This alkaloid is structurally related to adenosine and act as adenosine receptor antagonist with psychotropic and anti-inflammatory activities. Theobromine drugs are found in cocoa beans, cola nuts, and tea. Theobromine is used to increase the amount of urine made by the kidneys to stimulate the heart and to widen blood vessels. Theophylline drugs, also known as 1,3-dimethylsantine, is a phosphodiesterase-inhibiting drug used in therapy for respiratory diseases such as chronic obstructive diseases and asthma. Theophylline drugs are no longer used because of its higher dose requirement to achieve a beneficial effect. This drug relaxes smooth muscle located in the bronchial airways and pulmonary blood vessels. So how does methylsantine work? The smooth muscle relaxant action is attributed to inhibition of phosphodiesterase, the intracellular enzyme that inactivates TAMP. The central nervous system stimulant action of these drugs also contributes to improve respiratory function as also the improvement of circulatory and renal function in cardiac asthma of dogs. So bronchodilations is promoted by CAMP. Intracellular levels of CAMP can be increased by beta-adrenoreceptor agonists which increase the rate of its synthesis by adenylyl cyclase or by phosphodiesterase inhibitors such as theophylline, which slow the rate of degradation. Bronchoconstriction can be inhibited by muscarinic antagonists and possibly by adenosine antagonists. Methylsantines are used for the treatment of airway obstruction caused by conditions such as asthma, chronic bronchitis, or emphysema. Other derivatives of methylsantines are aminophylline, leprophylline, and etamephylline. Aminophylline drugs Aminophylline drugs belongs to the group of medicines known as bronchodilators. But what is bronchodilators? Bronchodilators are medicines that relax the muscles in the bronchial tubes of the lungs. They relieve cough, wheezing, shortness of breath, and troubled breathing by increasing the flow of air through the bronchial tubes. The mechanism of action of aminophylline is a complex of theophylline, ethylene diamine, and is given for its theophylline activity to relax smooth muscle and to relieve bronchial spasm. Aminophylline, when taken, would sometimes result to increase of rapid heart rate, irregular heartbeat, seizure, and skin rash. Intravenous aminophylline is not recommended for acute exacerbation. 
Its contraindications include patients with hypersensitivity to theophylline, ethylenediamine, or any component of drug formulation. Precautions are necessary for patients with concurrent illnesses like cardiac diseases and renal impairment. Aminophylline is available to pharmacies with different brand names including the Theo24, Theocron, Elexophylline, and Unifil. Diprofiline or diphylline is a sentient derivatives with bronchodilator and vasodilator effects. It is used in the treatment of respiratory disorders like asthma, cardiac dyspnea, and bronchitis. It acts as an adenosine receptor antagonist and phosphodiesterase inhibitor. Adverse effects of diprofiline are rapid heartbeat, headache, increased urination, nausea, nervousness, trembling, and trouble with sleeping. Its mechanism of action is that it acts as a bronchodilator by directly relaxing smooth muscle of the bronchial airway and pulmonary blood vessels similar to theophylline. Commonly used brand names are Delore 200, Delore 400, Dialix, Lufeline and Lufeline 400. The contraindications of diprofiline are uncontrolled arrhythmias, hyperthyroidism, history of hypersensitivity to diphalene, related sentient derivatives, or any component of the formulation. Etamiphaline also known as campophylline or melophylline that belongs to the class of organic compounds known as xanthines. These are purine derivatives with a ketone group conjugated at carbons 2 and 6 of the purine moiety. It is a weak bronchodilator when administered orally. It is a smooth muscle relaxant and a cardiac and respiratory stimulant. It is indicated in the treatment of cardiac and respiratory failure and distress and may be used in pneumonia and upper respiratory tract infections. Aminophylline, thiophylline, etamiphylline, and diprofiline have been tested as antagonists of neuronal inhibition produced by microionotophoretically applied adenosine when ejected as cations or anions. Aminophylline proved to be an effective adenosine antagonist when ejected as an anion, especially from alkaline solution. Anionic thiophylline is also effective but less so and on a smaller proportion of neurons. Ethylene diamine and hydroxyl ions had no effect on adenosine responses. GABA depressions were unaffected by any of the methylxanthines at the same time of adenosine blockade. Cationic ejection from aminophylline or ethylene diamine barrels reduced a depression of unit firing on about one-third of the cells tested, but no antagonism of adenosine was observed. It is concluded that the ionic ejection of aminophylline from alkaline solution or of ethamiphylline of diprofiline yields potentially useful antagonists of adenosine for ionotophoretic experiments.